Today we got a brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer, and we also had Ed Sheeran singing for the entire thing. It gets copyright claimed if you leave the song in, so Ed, thank you very much. Either way, some very cool things in this trailer. Enjoy. When almost a four minute trailer just dropped, it doesn't tell me anything from the title. Let's see what's here. Come on. Come on. I right, this, this feels like the big trailer. Four minutes. Okay. I didn't expect this. <laughs> yeah, Ed Sheeran, sick. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I right, Ed, show me new Pokemon. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right. There's gonna be something new. Ed, Ed, I swear. Ed, if I don't see something new soon. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. It's Pikachu, Pikachu confirmed. I was a little worried about that one. Okay, selfies. <laughs> Sandwiches. <laughs> Oh, Ed, Ed, you're killing me, Ed. Uh, it's giant crab eating a plant and becoming big. Ed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tre treasure treasure hunts. Okay. Wait, we still we got over a minute. Oh. Is that new? What is this? Wait, is that Dawn fan? Is that Dawn fan? Yo! What? That's Dawn Fan! Oh my god, that is sick! That is so cool! Oh my god! Yo! Wait, two Dawn Fan forms? Past and present? Are you kidding me? That was sick! Ed, you didn't let me down! I ate Scizor with a hat. That was crazy. Yo. I everyone's everyone's got a dragon hat. Okay, I'm excited for this part of the game. We already know about it, obviously, but... Ooh. Oh, this is kind of sick. Can you fly straight up in this game? Because that'd be crazy. That's something that has been teased for a while. Past and present forms are teased. It's been, like, rumored and talked about. It finally revealed. That was a past, like, an ancient Dawn fan or a Dawn fan evolution, and then a futuristic one. Obviously, that can't be the only Pokemon that gets those forms, which is incredibly cool. Um, I let me see if there's more information on these guys. I have no idea if um, Mr. Ed Sheeran's gonna copyright strike. I don't really know how it works when Ed Sheeran starts singing. I don't. I'm not entirely sure how that goes. But um, oh, okay. Information has dropped. 
Let's let's uh, check this out together, chat. Okay. Take on Terra Raid Battles. It's November 8th. New information. Let's go through it. In a Terra Raid Battle, you join a team of four to try to defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon before time runs out. Terra Raid Battle events where will where you will be able to take on specific Pokemon or encounter Pokemon with specific Terra types are in development and will make their debut sometime after the games are released. Wait a minute. Wait, no. No, no, no. This is the... No. I was... I was so excited. I... Whatever. I... Whatever. Catch an unrivaled Charizard in Black Crystal Terror Raid Battles. During your adventures in the Valdea region, you may find Black Crystals that look different than ones you'd ordinarily approach to take on a Terror Raid Battle. This is brand new information. The Pokemon you'll face at these Black Terror Raid Crystals are much stronger than those that ordinarily, or appear ordinarily, uh, Terra Raid Crystals, and defeating them can net you rewards that are even more exciting than usual. I was hoping that the Pokemon would have, like, perfect IVs, but more rewards could be cool depending on what they are. Charizard with their mightiest mark will be appearing at Black Terra Raid Crystals during two time periods, during December 1st through 4th, and then December 15th and 18th. I can promise I will be trying to do fun streams for some of these Terra Raid like events, I don't know if I'm going to do all of them, but to start the games, sometime between December 1st and 4th, I will be live with a few people doing some raids. That'd be fun. Charizard cannot normally be encountered in Paldea, and the Charizard appearing during this event has Dragon as its Terra type, making it a formidable foe and powerful ally. It will use devastatingly powerful moves in battle, so defeating it by yourself will be extremely difficult. Team up with family, friends, and trainers. This is very cool. I'm very hyped on that in general. It does have a mark as well, which is cool as they did say. Um, this charger will have the same mark ability and moves regardless of when it's caught. Can only be caught once per save data. That's interesting. Okay. They 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 had me in the first half, not gonna lie. It got more exciting. Scarlet Book and Violet Book. I have no idea what this is. Uh, the Scarlet Book, which will appear in Pokemon Scarlet, <laughs> shocking, and the Violet Book, which will appear in Pokemon Violet, are records from an expedition, and they were written long, long ago. The expedition is said to have traversed an uncharted area of the Paldea region, but whether or not the accounts depicted in the books are true remains unclear. It seems Arvin always carries a copy of one of the books with him. Photographs and sketches of identified creatures fill the pages of the Scarlet Book and the Violet Book. Oh, let's go! This is so sick. I bet all of the past and present form Pokemon will be in these books, and obviously, they're going to be unique to the games. So, I, I this might decide that I'm getting Scarlet, because this Dawn fan looks so sick. I don't know how I feel about dawn fan becoming a cyborg but if i see more of it maybe it's really cool but it, the face looks ridiculous right now i'm not i don't know about the face this one is sick man i the monster known as great husk the book describes how this savage monster attacked the exhibition team with its large body and tusks mortally wounding one of the explorers pokemon mortally wounding Wow, that is not what I expected. Interesting. Did the other one mortally wound someone? The monster known as Iron Treads, it is said that when this monster curls its body and rolls to attack, it leaves a trail gouged into the earth or the ground as if it had scorched the earth. Okay, so this one's killing the world. This one is killing the people. I would like this one on my side. I'll take my chances against this when I have the Great Tusk on my side. Are you kidding me? Uh, is there anything else here? Um, Pokemon? Do they? Where's the Great Tusk? Where is the Great Tusk? I guess that was it. Wow. That was pretty sick. I cannot believe we do not have more information i really i i can't believe that like that's really really crazy chat wow i really don't know what to do with that wow they are giving us so little information but also so much to get excited for and i love it 
I, I really love it. I mean, when being a content creator, it's genuinely my job to be on top of all of the Pokemon news. So the less they give us, the more exciting it is to get into the game.